beautiful witches, welcome back to my channel, Callie Contours here. Today, I am sorry about the lighting. My ring light is packed, so we're just dealing with an overhead light. I hope it's not too terrible. I mean, you can, how many fingers am I holding up? See, you can see fine, it's fine. So today, we are doing a declutter, and I have a box here of decluttered makeup, body care, skin care, and hair care. And we are going to go through it and I'm going to show you what I'm getting rid of. So let's get to it. So some things you should know first off, I am leaving my Oxford house today. Last night was my last night. Um, I lost my job just because of a miscommunication. And so I planned on leaving Oxford at the end of July, but I'm leaving July 11th because I don't have a job and I can't pay the rent. So it's just a couple weeks sooner than what I had planned. Um, and the other thing you should know is that my husband has a really sensitive sense of smell. So I can't use products that have a really strong smell to them or even really just a smell to them in general. So a lot of these products I'm getting rid of because of the smell. So let's get started. The first one is the Hemp's Mandarin Orange and Key Lime Moisturizer. This is the 17 ounce one and it's more than halfway filled. I really, I'm gonna use a little pump right now. In fact, I really like the smell of this. It smells so fresh, like like key lime pie. Um, but, you know, I can't have scented stuff. So, I have these pair of sunglasses for some reason. I don't know why. They're not really my style. They're kind of cute, though. But I'm giving that away. Oh, and I'm just going to, like, leave this box downstairs for my housemates to pick from. That's the plan. Um, this is the Heritage Strength training leave in conditional pudding it's like this all the way filled up to here this is the six ounce one and my husband just doesn't like it when i use leave in hair conditioners because usually they have a scent let's see a beautiful day um back and body walks i got this for christmas getting rid of it because of the scent this is almost done i wish i could finish it but it's the jelly pop do primal. Um, hopefully one of my housemates can use that. This I picked up recently is the Pixi Brightening Vitamin C Balancing Priming Oil. I don't like it that much. It does really smell like orange though. And these don't necessarily have a scent. I just don't love them. It's the Shiseido Ultimune power infusing concentrate and the essential energy hydrating cream i just feel like it pills on my skin so i'm not about that life this is a estee lauder bronzer just a little bronzer it was like a free gift for fortress when i walked at macy's i almost used this up i was trying so hard to use this up it's the watermelon glow by glow recipe PHA and BHA pore tight tonal. It does have a really strong smell, and I'm honestly not a fan of the smell. This is the Man Eater Blush and Glow Cheek Pump. Cheek Plump. Um, and the color is really pretty. It's just not very pigmented. Like, it's a very soft, soft blush. Let's see? Um, and I like a really strong or more powerful, strong blush. This is the Pineapple Haze Sensitive Skin Body Balm. Um, 200 milli milligram CBD Pineapple Mango Organic Jojoba Oil and Vitamin E Boost. I feel like this dried out my skin, to be honest. I was not a fan of this. Just this random quirky crate iron on patch that says I'll be there for you. I've never seen the show Friends. I don't know anything about Friends, but I'm pretty sure that's a Friends reference. This is the Starry Eyed Eyeshadow Shades by The Art of Makeup. Quality free. Um, 
these just aren't i got this for a gift and while i really do appreciate it it's just not the best quality um but it was fun to play with when i had less makeup than i do now this is the nars orgasm multiple i used to love this i used to have this a while ago um and see it just doesn't show up i can't get it to show up kinda but it just really doesn't show up on the skin so i'm getting rid of it for that reason the abh Riviera palette i bought this um at tj maxx a few months ago and i have never used it so hopefully they can get use out of that take it away makeup removal lotion by estee lauder got that for free when i worked with them um this is the wet and wild fm 10 pan palette fantasy makers i really don't use orange eyeshadow that much at all this is the Essence Fairy Wings and Magical Things palette. Really cute palette, kind of like pastel shades. I just never use it. This is the Watermelon Face Milk by Fourth Ray Beauty. Really strong watermelon scent. So this is a Lancome and Advanced Genifique Hydrogel Melting Mask. I just don't really use face masks that often, so yeah. This is the Cake, the Thick Trick, Totally to Die For Volumizing Styling Foam. Just, this smells like cake. It actually smells really good. Um, and I actually like that product a lot. I just can't use it anymore. I have a Buxom Wanderlust Blush that is still in its packaging. It's the shade Goa. So that's cute. Let's get a swatch. Ooh, that's actually really cute. I like that, but I I know I do not need it. Do not need it. This is the Mac Surprise Eyes Rich Eyeshadow Times X Rich. I don't know. That's what it says. Okay, that's what it says. Um, what is that? Oh, I put my nail on it. Um, pretty palette. I just don't really use these colors that much. Let's see, I got some MAC Purple Glitter. I got this Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Highlighter. It's like a jelly formula. It's really interesting, actually. So that was popular like a couple years ago. Not so popular now. I have this. This is Juice Gloss by NYX Electrolyte Infused Color Watermelon Sugar. I don't think I ever used this. Refresh Daily Brush Cleaner by Sephora. This has a really strong tea tree scent. It really smells like tea tree. Uh, MAC Lipstick in the shade Sea Sheer. So it's an okay color. I just don't need it. This is a Clinique lipstick in Love Pop. A bit too pink for me. Um, this is the Huda Beauty Pound Cake Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I just hate this packaging. I thought it would be like good for like on the go, but it's just not the best it's hard to get the powder out it, it's really good powder in general though i just don't love it this is a mac dazzle shadow liquid in love yourself i just don't really use liquid shadow that much but it's pretty see i think i have another one in here let's see i'm almost done there was a Floss Lip Advocate, just a, like a lip balm. And there was a MAC Mojo Maker Patent Polish Lip Pencil. It's really like chubby stick though, yeah. 
let's see. I have a little advanced night lapel synchronized multiplex recovery from Estee Lauder. I have some vitamin C treatments from Estee Lauder. A little mini bamboo booster exfoliant physique. Actually, I might keep this from the bed. Ah, crashing down. Crashing down on me. Um, and then I have this Regenere HCF Triple Serum sample from Estee Lauder. And that is everything. Um, I really hope that they enjoy this and they can find something that they can use. I've really, really enjoyed my time at Oxford House and I will miss it. It was definitely the right decision for me and my recovery and I'm glad that I did it. So, it kind of feels like the end of an era. But I'm excited to be back with my family. So, thanks for watching. Stay real.